the transformation is complete. The cutworm larva has become a bogong moth. Metamorphosis has used up all the energy gathered by the caterpillar's weeks of eating. The moths are ravenously hungry. They suck nectar from any flowering plant they can find, paying for the meal by transporting pollen from flower to flower. The moths must build up body fat and strength. There's not much time. The late spring storms are on the way and the moths have a great journey to make. They sense the barometric pressure drop ahead of the advancing storm front. For two or three weeks, they climb by night into the mountains. With no wind to help them, they fly low over the forest, feeding on flowering trees as they go. and higher they climb, following the ancient migration routes till they arrive at journey's end, the plateau of the Bogong Plains. But there's no time to waste. A male corroboree frog is calling on females, stocking up as he goes on his favorite food to strengthen him for the coming bouts with rivals. After seven months inside a frozen egg, grasshoppers must make the most of the brief summers. A male mountain grasshopper is hunting for a mate. She looks more like a beetle than a grasshopper, quite different from her suitor. But she's not impressed. He'll have to try his luck elsewhere. For every thousand moths that set off on the journey south, only one or two return. And this is what they've been waiting all these months to do. There's no need for elaborate courtship. Any moth that's made it back from the mountains must be a consummate survivor whose genes are well worth sharing. The female makes off with the male's spermatophore, a parcel of sperm and nutrients containing his genetic legacy. As he passed it on, this male's intestines were torn from his body. He has only minutes to live. The female has one more vital task still to accomplish. Over the next few hours, she carefully chooses a site a sheltered place where there's ready food at hand. Here she deposits up to 2,000 eggs. There are enough survivors to lay billions of eggs from southern Queensland to the Riverina. In each of them is encapsulated the strength and vigour of their parents and the overpowering urge to reach the mountains and return. The female's mission is accomplished. The undertaker ants have buried millions of her peers. Most failed, but she has triumphed. The epic journey of her life has ensured that in the spring, the night of the Bogongs will return.